Oh, I got a big side then. Sorry. Yeah. G'day folks, it's the Coffee Bush Kid in Central Vic. And I'm back up here in uh, the top end of Rubbish Pile Gully. And I've got this signal that you really should see. All right, place your bets as to what it is. Are we going to just say Florin out, right? Maybe Penny. There's only going to be one way to find out. So let's do it. It's not that deep. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? Can you see that? Are we going to be disappointed with the washer? That looks silver. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh yeah. Well, maybe I could be disappointed actually. Uh, that's George. Oh, sorry. I'm looking over at the top. There's George. Yeah. Oh, now I'm not sure. It might just be a half penny. We will come back. Wait there a tick. All right, we are back. And I'm sure that we are all in agreement as to how silver it did look coming out the ground. But that is a half penny. It's 19, what looks like 43. Rue half penny with George the sixth there. Boy, geez, that looked silver coming out of the ground. And as we know, it's not the first time I've been fooled for a buddy Florin. Anyway... Ever hopeful? Let's keep going. Well, I got me a 24 signal. What would you expect a 24 signal to be? I didn't expect that. How is that for the mother of all bloody belt buckles? That's a D. There's no way that would fit in between modern day bloody pants keepers. That's... I know it's probably horse tack, but geez, imagine that buddy hanging off your belt. You wouldn't need braces with those belts. That's buddy made it. Really, really heavy too. Very, very nice casting. Anyway, we'll keep going. Alrighty. There's where I got my buckle from. And now I got this signal. Having put the pin pointer around, it is only small-ish. Only, only in there. Probably just right there, actually. Anyway, we will have a... Oh, we come back. Net oh, with the stone or some other form of resistance. Oh, but, but, we all see that? I'm trying to see it in the viewfinder. There we go. There. I reckon that looks coin-like. Oh, it looks, it looks very coin-like. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, no, it's not coin. It's a medallion. Oh, I got a big side then. Sorry. And I've got ants all over me. Uh, okay, I'm going to tell you right now, that's a 1919 Peace Medallion. It was handed out to all the school kids, and it was silver. Celebrating the end of World War II. Oh, sorry, World War I. There's the lady there. I'll give it a quick clean up, and we'll see what we've got. But that'll be what it is. Here we are. Here's the lady there. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, look at that, Australia. 
I think that does say 1919. Anyway, that's that side. And then if we do that. Oh, I like this bloody thing. Victory! Uh, to the Triumph. Okay. See how they work? Good. Um, uh, the Triumph of Liberty and Justice. And you've got a sailor and a soldier. And you can see the silvering that was on it. I think these were made by Stokes, but I might be wrong. But we'll say Stokes nonetheless. That's a very, very cool find. The 1919 Peace Medal awarded to school children of the Commonwealth of Australia to commemorate the end of World War I and was designed by Charles Richardson, better known for his work as a sculptor. Time constraints meant that no single manufacturer could make 1,670,000 medals. They were made by Armour, Stokes, Schlenk, Parks, Angus and Coote and Platters and awarded to Victorian school children on Peace Day, Saturday, July 19, 1919. I can't emphasize this enough. See all the bushy, scrubby area we're in? You gotta have a little coil. You gotta be able to poke it in everywhere. And then you get signals like that. Let's see what that is. Is it a bottle cap? Is it a sixpence? Is it a florin? Is it a half penny? Is it none of the above? Is it still in the ground? Well, it is. Let's take another flight back here, down a bit deeper, and it should. Oops, like a bloody heel. Mm. Interesting. Here, that looks like it's got something on it, doesn't it? Let's have a quick clean up and we'll see. Yeah, look, you can see at the back there there's something on that. We'll give it a brush, we'll see what we've got. Well, there we go. It did have something on it, but I don't know what it is or what it means or what it was from. No, no idea. I am at a loss. You don't see that often. Usually I can make something up, but I can't for this one. Don't know. But if you know, let us know. Then we'll all know. Now it's slightly raining, as you can see. I did get this, I dug it up with my bloody foot, but have a look. Pounds, phone, found something or other, own make, with a hand grip in that. It's a press study thing. I wonder if there's a bit of history in that. That's pretty cool nonetheless. Thank you, Paul, for showing me about bloody going in and out with the finder. Save trying to do that with it. Yeah, we'll keep going. No matter where you are in the bush, you can't go leaving a signal like this just lying in the ground. Mmm, that's lovely, that is. 
Now, probably going to be a penny, probably a roux, but I wouldn't mind it being a florin. Bit of muck metal. Anyway, maybe if I do that, you'll see it better. We'll keep going. Now, I'm going to keep you a little bit away. Now, you you just focus on the on the screen there. All right, all right. You know, there's buddy signals everywhere around, but when you get Yeah, I've just moved it with my, you know, scrunched off the, the top there with my feet. Yeah. Look at what, look at that. It's just growing, oh, growing. It's lying underneath the growth of the moss. And that, oh yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Ah, Georgie boy, magnificent. Let's have a look. Uh... What are we looking at? 19, uh, let, thanks Paul. Oh, that's great. 1936, three pence. Magnificent. Look at that, 925, bit of wear on it. Someone threw it out. We found it. We found it together. Aren't we lucky? Great job you. Glad you were here to share it. Just a little funny thing. Once you get your first silver, which shouldn't have, might have been there, swung over. I got another signal. You go, oh, maybe, maybe. You just never know. Mm -mm. Yep, pretty close to a coin it was. It was that. I must have just been clipping the edge of it with the um, with the uh, coil. I'm going to say there should have been a pulley in there and maybe that's some sort of guard for a rope. I don't know, but it's a heavily constructed bloody thing. That's not coming home to the pool room, I can tell you. And I think we should just keep going. Well, I'm back up in rubbish dump gully here and now I am being systematic. I'm doing areas, I'm... You know, walking along the hillside, going down, only a swing at a time type thing. Finally. There we go. That was only in the leaf litter. That looks like a Commonwealth penny. There we go. 1927. That's all right. I'm up in the, possibly one of the older sections. I've got a lot of military stuff from up this end. So it's not bad. George the fifth underneath all that dirt. 1927, one penny. We'll take that and we'll keep going. From out of that hole, <clears throat> there was a 21, 22 clippy type signal. And that came out. You go, that almost looks like a coin. And then of course my heart went, oh, don't tell me they've done this to a token. Nope. They've tried to cut out a kangaroo. Hell of a lot of filing left to do on that, I can tell you. Anyway, that's what it is. A roo penny. Someone has tried to cut the roux out of, probably to make a medallion of some description. Yeah, yeah. That'd be about the first one of those that I found. We'll keep going. Out of that hole there came this thing here. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to say it's something electrically involved because of that that funny looking little end looks like it should have wires coming out of it and being crimped over from some central point and maybe this is connected to a battery beautifully made very solid very shiny got no idea whatsoever as to what it is so if anyone knows 
leave a comment. We can all be enlightened. Alrighty, down in that hole I had everything from, I don't know, 18 to 32. I've just been digging down in there, looking like a bloody echidna, but the target has fallen out. See? Look at it all. But, what we do have, I think we can all see it down there, is that. I reckon we just, instead of mucking around, should clean it up. That nearly looks like it's been hit with a bloody projectile. Anyway, we'll clean it up. We'll see what we've got. There we go. That is some very worn, smooth, I'm going to say probably a William the Fourth half penny. But someone's decided it's not worth much. And they've taken a ping at. And I'd also say that it was actually resting up against something hard. Because of the way that it's hit and not gone through. Probably they had it resting against a rock. Anyway, there you go. We found it. No one else did. And we'll keep moving. She's just in there. Right there. Let's do it. We know the drill. Don't dig too close. Dig deep. That is heavy. Ah, look at that. There's a screw hole there. Actually, that's for a light fitting, I would say, because you see how there's three Three I tell you divots. No, that one doesn't want to shine out. That one there. Anyway, I would say that was maybe a light fitting for up on the roof. But by oh, gee, it's heavy. Mm, there's something metally coming up now. What's that? That is a big piece of lead. Bother. Oh. Mozzies are around in force. We'll keep going. Well, I wonder what this one will be. Oh, not more lead. Yes. Oh, no. That's a casting. But still, it's not really what we're after. Well, out of that hole, we got the victim of a very hard Sunday roast. Just wouldn't go through. Yeah, imagine putting that mouthful in your buddy mouth. Bloody hell. Yeah, we'll keep going. Well, I was getting a 22, 24, and I thought, oh, it's probably going to be a bottle top. I was a bit far off the mark. Oh, cool, it's even got the Wick Advancer. Oh, with someone's name written on it. That's pretty cool. We might... <laughs> yeah, we might take that one home with us and see who we've actually got. Oh, USA, I can see there. Maybe. Don't know. Yeah, right, we'll take that home. We'll see who we've got. That's pretty cool, though. They're always a good find. That's what I'm looking at. So I thought, well, instead of showing you after the fact, let's just let's just do it now. It could just be, oh, funnily enough, rubbish. Or could be a really good coin. Hopefully silver and worth two shillings. That's 
what I was looking at. That's a bit interesting. You see, I bloody well nicked it. That's potentially rain's guides, maybe. You can see there it's got steel. So it's had a thread there. And that's brass and been screwed into something. That's unusual. That will be what the target is. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take that one for Andrea. See what else we can get. Nice. I've cleaned it off. I've just put my digger in. I've just broken and lifted it up. Is it a washer or is it a coin? Oh, there's a bloody hole in it. Oh, look at the spiky bits on it. Mmm. Don't know what that is. Yeah, very interesting. It's tapered. Tapered with spikes. First one of those I found. All right, we'll keep going. Well, here's an interesting little find. A little six-pointed star with an emu on it. Funny looking bloody emu, but anyway, that's what I reckon it is. It's been a pin of some description. And there we go. It's not often you find one of those, but today we did. Well, down there, where you can see the mozzies flying in and out of the buddy viewfinder there, um, I got a 2122 signal. I didn't turn it on because, you know, we had the, the lead last time, didn't we? Yeah, well, just with a bit of a foot scraping. Look at that. A very, very beautiful 1950 sixpence. It's a, uh, it's a really, really good nick. So, yeah, very happy with that. Try to sixpence. And it was actually just there by that tree that I got the, how was it, the 1927 penny. So, oops, there we are. This is good. I think the mozzies are going to chase me home though. Well, I got to get going. So, keep in mind, it's always good to fill in some of your day detecting. Remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. We'll catch you next time.